Russia is set to begin a huge spying mission on the Royal Navy's newest aircraft carrier the moment the 3 billion pound ship sets sail for the first time. The 65,000 ton HMS Queen Elizabeth, which could launch as early as tomorrow from Rosic Dockyard in Fife, is expected to be monitored by Russian planes, ships and submarines as it enters the North Sea for a six-week trial run. Navy bosses are warning that the ship could be tracked by Russia's Acula-class nuclear-powered submarines. Russia could also use Vishnaya-class surveillance ships and two 214R spy planes to gather intelligence on the British warship. A naval source said, we would do the same to them if they put such a new big ship in the water, according to the Sunday Times. The source added, the Russians would want to get as much information as possible. Its acoustic signature, radar and communications emissions, all the things they would need to track it are targeted at a later date. The ship has previously been described as the most potent conventional weapon against Islamic State by Captain Simon Pettit, and will carry the most advanced stealth fighter jet in the world, the F-35B Lightning II. The impressive carrier, capable of carrying up to 40 aircrafts, is due to complete its first full voyage to its home in Portsmouth in autumn. It comes amid an ongoing manpower crisis within the Royal Navy. Since April 2013, the total number of Royal Marines and sailors in the Navy has plummeted from 31,420 to 29,700 in the last count. And the latest figures by the Ministry of Defense show the senior service was almost 1,000 people shy of its target of 30,200 regular personnel, with a deficit of 940. However, a recent national recruitment drive by the Navy has shown some success with overall number swelling by 130 people between October 2016 and April. But critics have said a move to hollow out the nation's armed forces in 2010 had created a vicious circle. In March, retired First Sea Lord, Admiral Lord Alan West urged action and said, cutting 4,000 people in 2010 was a terrible error and one we are still feeling now. Admiral Sir Philip Jones said he was committed to seeing his fleet's new carrier in Portsmouth by the end of this year but would not commit to a date. Sir Philip said, we're not committing to a date yet. We've got to get them to sea first and see how sea trials are going, but it will be this calendar year. Apostrophe. Defense Secretary Michael Fallon said on a recent election campaign visit to the city that Queen Elizabeth would be in the city by the autumn. If you like this video please leave a like and subscribe.